Okay, so this week we're going to add the element of the work breakdown structure, also known as WBS. And we've talked about that several weeks ago, but now we're going to uh, introduce this and, and, and add it. You'll have two schedules to do this week where you'll have to work with the WBS. And it just really helps categorize the different areas of construction. And uh, I think you'll, you'll see how that works pretty quick. But I want to do a quick tutorial just to kind of show you how... Uh, how this all works. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to come up to Enterprise and um, we're going to do Enterprise Project Structure and I've been doing this with my work might be a good idea for you guys to do this as well but I create a different um, pyramid here or an enterprise for every uh, week's activities it just kind of makes it easier to, uh, to, to organize so I usually click on Enterprise and then I come over to the right and I hit Add and so for this one, uh, I'm going to come down here. I'm just going to type um, week 11 uh, assignments. And I'm just going to kind of copy and paste that and put it, uh, put it here for the EPS name as well. And then we have that. And then I'm just going to hit close. And so now you should see down here I have week 11 assignments. So then the next step is to come over here to the right and we're going to hit the plus sign. Uh, we're going to add a project to this uh, EPS. So where it says select EPS, week 11 assignments, that is what we want. So I hit next. Project ID, I'm just going to hit, uh, or I'm just going to type uh, commercial building uh, one. Or maybe it won't do me uh, one. So I'm just going to hit, uh, I'll tell you what, we're going to back this up and do commercial BLDG. And I'm going to hit one. Apparently we got a character. Uh, limit on that so commercial BLDG1 um, and then I'm going to hit next and my start date um, I'm going to go ahead and bump it up another week an extra week but I'm going to say Monday the 21st um, as long as you're doing it the next Monday on your schedule when you're uh, taking this class that will work fine so I'm going to hit next on that I'm going to leave the must finish by blank and then pretty much after this, uh, I'm going to hit finish because I don't need uh, to do anything else. So you'll notice that it put a folder uh, for a project underneath the EPS of week 11. And we've got a commercial building. And um, <clears throat> so now what I want to do is actually open that project. So I'm going to right click on commercial building. And uh, I'm going to come up here. I'm going to say open project. And so when I do that, that will uh, physically open my project here. And so now I'm going to be able to, to do scheduling just like we've done uh, all along. However, uh, this week we're going to add one more element, and that's the WBS. So before we start uh, with anything else, I want you to come up to the Project uh, tab at the top of your screen and come down and click on WBS. Okay, And when we do that, that should all, uh, open up another tab up here. So you should have Activities, WBS, and then Projects. Okay. So under commercial building, uh, that is what we're uh, going to start off with. We're going to come up here and hit the, uh, the plus sign again because we want to create a WBS. And a new WBS will kind of have the double blue folder, kind of like you see here to the right. That's kind of the little icon for it. And so I'm going to come down here where it says WBS code. And I want it to be, um, the first one I want to do is called site prep. And I'm going to hit tab. And um, we're going to come over here. Well, if yours didn't jump, mine didn't, so I had to click on it. But the WBS name is also going to be uh, Site Prep. Okay. So then what I want to do is add another WBS. But when I click the Add, it automatically kind of indents and puts another one down here. Well, we don't want it to indent. We want it to be the same as the Site Prep. So I'm going to come over here to my right, and I should have an arrow lit up that says move left and when I click that you'll notice that these two line up okay so now I'm going to come down here to uh, well I can I should be able to start typing right here and I'm just going to type foundation and I'm going to hit tab and I'm going to hit foundation again pretty much just using the same the same names for both of them hit plus again we're going to create another WBS again I have to go down to the blue arrow and slide that one over and since it's got the orange box around it, I should be able to just start typing. And now I'm going to say uh, first floor and first floor again, first floor. 
I'm going to hit plus again. I'm going to add another one again, blue arrow to bring it over. And this one I'm going to say uh, second floor. I'll do that for both uh, both columns here. And then one more. And again, I'm going to have to come over here to the blue arrow and move that up because we want all these to be aligned. So that's why we have to come over here to these arrows and, and move them around. <clears throat> um, and so this one, uh, I'm just going to start typing. I want this one just to say landscape. Um, and then uh, I'm going to do the same thing for both of them there again. So that should get all the WBS for this particular project. Now you'll have to do one more project this week um, on a house. You'll have a few other, or you'll have some different WBS like foundation, structural, uh, interior, exterior finish, MEPs, landscaping, that kind of thing. Um, there may be like a, there may be five or six WBS for that one as well. So you'll have to create them just like you did this. Um, and so then, now we're ready to just start adding activities. So I can come up here to the activities tab. And when I do that, you're going to see this green, yellow, green, yellow, green, yellow all the way down through there, which really can become confusing at first, but don't let it do that. So click on the top one where it says site prep and hit the plus sign. And that's going to give you an activity. <clears throat> and the new activity, um, I'm just going to call it uh, uh, mobilize. Well, actually, let's not do mobilize yet. Let's do soil erosion. Um, we'll do soil erosion, and uh, I'm just going to hit tab, and then um, I'm going to go ahead and add another activity for that one, and I want to call it um, mobilize, and so so on and so forth. Now, when you get done adding the activities you need under site prep, and you're ready to do foundation, you can just click on the next blue one for foundation and hit the plus. And when you do that, you'll notice it got rid of that extra yellow up here underneath site prep. Um, and that's gonna be the same thing. When you come down here to building first floor uh, and you click on that and add the activities, when I hit plus, you'll notice it got rid of that yellow. And then I'm gonna come down here to second floor and once I you know, finish all the activities for first floor, I go to the second floor and add those activities. Uh, again, you'll see the yellow disappear. And then when I get done adding those activities, I'm going to go to landscape. And you'll see now how all those little yellow things have disappeared. So that will work fine. Now, obviously, uh, don't do what I just did. Do all of the activities first for the site prep because it's going to number them all the way down through. You'll notice my numbers say 1000, 1010, and then it skips down 1020. So it's in order, but we really want to get all of the activities in site prep first, then go to foundation, do all the foundation activities, then go to first floor, and so on and so forth. Okay. So I just kind of wanted to show you by adding activities here, it does get rid of uh, the yellow that's in there. So. Um, that's what you're going to do this week. Uh, you'll do um, relationships the same way. Uh, I'm going to slide mine over and I'll just do a few just to show you. Um, but, you know, say these were the only activities I had. If I do an activity from soil erosion to mobilize and then from mobilize to whatever I have in the foundation and then foundation to whatever I have in the first floor and so on and so forth. Of course, I have no names or durations up here really, but... Um, I just wanted to show you this. Even though I'm going through and into different WBS systems, um, if I just continue those relationships and then go up and schedule, um, you'll notice that uh, regardless of the WBS, it still creates the relationship. And the neat thing is, is it will tell you kind of like a, a project management, if you will, for each WBS individually and how many uh, how many days and that kind of thing that's going to take. So uh, it's kind of a neat thing. But uh, So go through that this week. And um, like I said, you'll have to do that both on um, the commercial building. And then I'm going to do a house uh, job as well uh, just to get you guys familiar with the WBS part of it. So, okay. Uh, if you have any questions, just uh, let me know and uh, or just watch the video again. I'm hoping this is pretty uh, straightforward for you. But um, uh, have fun with that this week. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks a lot for watching.